the island of Sodor, or on the mainland, give railway enthusiasts a bad reputation. Boy, how dare you ruin my shot! Some enthusiasts can be selfish and rude towards the ones who consider others, and the engines feel sorry for them. One day, Oliver was taking his usual little to train on the Western. As he pulled into the station, he saw some enthusiasts taking his picture. But as he departed the big station, Get out of my way! Oliver was surprised that the voice had come from one of the enthusiasts. Unfortunately, it happened as Oliver pulled from the station. What began to be a splendid day for them turned into nothing but trouble. Oh, as always, twits like them, Oliver. Not one care for another fellow enthusiast, said his driver as they puffed away. Oliver told the other engines later that night. Don't worry about him, Oliver. He's bound to one day have some common sense put into himself, said Duck. Agreed, said William. Bear in mind that if there are any goings on with this enthusiast, they should contact the transport police. The next morning, Oliver was asked to take the local train, as Gordon was to build a special charter. As he was waiting in the station, he noticed a figure. This was the enthusiast. Then another one came rushing in, and that of course made the enthusiast very angry. Hey, kid! Think of all these twit! The young enthusiasts were very apologetic, but the older one didn't care. He yelled and yelled at the young enthusiast until he left the station. Now Oliver was even more cross with the enthusiast's attitude. Think of others, he remarked, and yet instead of finding another spot like a sensible person, he raged on at him. Yes, the young man rushed into things, but the feeble-minded man has no right to yell at him, just like what he did yesterday. I recognize that voice. You're right, Oliver. The next time we see him again, I'll report him to the Sword or Transport Police. They pulled into Crosby Station, and in the crowd lurked the enthusiasts. However, there was another one nearby. He was an elderly disabled man. As Oliver was about to depart, the elderly man was holding himself still while trying to get a picture. The enthusiasts had enough. Hey, stop mumbling, you old git, or some things will happen. You say big words, but you don't do it, argued the elderly man. I'll smash that camera of yours, that's it, yelled Oliver and blew his whistle. The station was silent. I had enough of you, you blundering idiot. You'll be insulting many enthusiasts over a picture for yourself. A picture is just a picture, no matter how good it can be. That's what Boko and Emily told me. Other people are allowed to take a picture at any location, and they're in your way. You should move like a sensible person. That's right said the young enthusiast, who was on Oliver's train. I raced to get a picture so I could get a seat later on, and this idiot shouted at me for being in the way, even though I apologized. Then the station master walked up to him, and alongside him was the transport police. We've been reported by you from the station master at Crosby. We do have video evidence of you assaulting other enthusiasts verbally by your threats and insults from CCTV cameras. This will give you six months of imprisonment, good man and he handcuffed him and took him away. Later that day, the fat controller came to see Oliver at the sheds. Oliver, I've heard about your stand-up against a rude enthusiast today, and I praise you for your bravery. Our railway welcomes enthusiastic people from all over the world, and we don't tolerate the ones who assault or abuse or threat others. All the engines cheered and whistled in agreement. 